Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Saint Doom from the Modern Streamers League. Today we have Jund Luris, featuring a Nightmare Cat. The minute you meet one of these people who has companions in their deck, the first thing they have to do is whip out that card and reveal it. So Luris of the Dream Den is a companion that requires each permanent card in your starting deck to have permanent converted mana cost two or less. It means we can't run cards like Liliana of the Veil vale or Bloodbright Elf, but we get a cool cat instead. This is a big cat too, being a 3-2 lifelinker. So we get some really strong cards like Dark Confidant, Tarmogoyf, and Kroxa, which is a 6-6. Six, six. So we have some pretty good finishing power. In addition to that, we also have Seal of Fire and Hex Drinker, Mishra's Bobble and Nihil Spellbomb, which are just some really cool cards to bring back with the Luris of the Dream Den mechanic. So this whole deck, the most expensive permanent in the entire deck is Luris, but that's intentional because we get to play Luris from our sideboard. In order to combat some big mana decks, we have things like Assassin's Trophy, Pillage, Molten Rain, and Boil. I know some people run more Pillages and Molten Rains, but I really value the extra two damage that Molten Rain deals as a shock to my opponent, more than the ability to destroy artifacts, especially since I'm already running four Culligan's Commands and two Abrupt Decays and a Maelstrom Pulse main board. This deck is designed to beat up creatures. It's why I have two Anger of the Gods in the sideboard and a full suite of Three Lightning Bolts, one Seal of Fire, two Fatal Push, some Ren and Six, some Abrupt Decays, lots and lots of removal spells. So when in doubt, we gotta jund them out. Now what I always say is, judge me by the enemies I've made. And when I'm busy beating people in the Modern Streamers League with my big cat, I'm sure I'm gonna make a lot of enemies. So anyways, you cool cats and kittens, it's Saint Doom. Have a lovely day.